Erica is Valentine. Valentine's wife is Brittany. Brittany reached out as well as Erica to Apathetic Facts. They did it as a team. They both were there for like every call and stuff. They always seemed to be together, which is funny because on Brittany's Instagram, it was open. Now it's not, but when I went looking through it, there was no pictures of her and Valentine together since like, which I'm gonna call Valentine Erica now because it's just easier when they're talking throughout this. They don't really call her Valentine anymore, but just know that when we are going through, Erica is Valentine. Erica has a wife. Her wife's name is Brittany. Brittany's Instagram had no pictures of them together except for the last couple days. And the last couple days was one. She pinned one that was like from 2022, I think. A picture that they had taken together. So it was just so weird that she was like, we've been together. But like, there's no social media stuff of them being together. At least not on the Instagram. And then something else that happened in like January of 2024. I went on the, her TikTok too, because that's out. We like, they're all out. So a lot of their social media. So anyway, I went looking. Two of the TikToks she did. She's lip syncing to the same song as Dana. Dana, two of them. There's two posts. She goes on and looks up Dana as in Destiny and Dana. And she's lip syncing along to the song that Dana's singing. Valentine's Wife. So it's like, oh, I have something in common with particularly Dana of all people. But like they've made a point of saying that they were around in girl world. So they kind of knew a little bit about like Amberland. They actually said they were a part of Hater Nation. I think that just means they've been watching Amberlynn for a while. That's what I gathered from that anyway. Dana had released these videos on TikTok and she put Dana in there. She was making it look like she was like, oh, I have something in common with Dana. And I'm like, well, not really, but I guess. <laughs> Anyway, she wrote to Apathetic Facts that I have a recorded phone call with Amber debunking her lies about not knowing anything about me. All right, so you ready? We're gonna listen to the phone call between them and Erica is actually in the background. In my opinion, Amberlynn handled the call pretty well. I'll have more opinions as we go through. We'll see Foodie's live too. Foodie tells her that she needs to stand up for herself and in that phone call, she thought she was being too submissive almost and she should have got a little angry. And then the wife has the nerve to like, what, like the whole call with Amber, like if I were Amber, I would have told her where to go. Bye. <laughs> like, check yourself. Honestly, Amberlynn, like the one thing that annoys me about Amberlynn, I'm gonna wring your neck, is she needs to be more bitchy. You need to tell these people where to go. You know, I know it's not her personality. She just, even whenever she was talking, when she was talking with the wife on the phone and she was being polite, like, no, you need to be like, be your wife messaged me and you let her. So you're, get off the phone with me. What are you even doing? You know what I mean? Like you need to, you need to like not let people drive you away like like get your crown back come back and make your vlogs make your money don't let them drive you away don't do it let's start this call hello so who reached out to who huh so who reached out to who what do you mean did you reach out to erica or did she reach out to you Okay, so I just want to say really quick that I've been listening to all these a lot and the two people in the Amberverse that Erica and Brittany remind me of when I hear their voices, just their voices, not what, not like what they look like or anything, but just their voices. Brittany here sounds like Sharla. And that's currently happening. <laughs> Do you want to get her? If you want me to. I mean, I, I can too though. Hey guys. So it's Charlotte and my sister Jarissa, and we are actually supposed to be having a friends mess, which is what we're sort of kind of doing. But really, we're actually having a surprise birthday for Amber Lynn. She's actually outside of the vehicle right now because I told her to get out so she don't say nothing. So here we go. Erica sounds like Becky. Hi, everybody. I mean, hello, guys. Whichever one you want to use, babe. We're going to do our own version of a Bean Boozle challenge. I don't know if anyone has done this before. It sounds like she's talking to Charlotte and Becky. Can you imagine? These people are really just Charlotte and Becky. <laughs> That would be a huge troll, wouldn't it? More than this already is. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. When? What do you mean when? Like for the very first time? The last time you spoke to her. Um, last time I, well, the last time I messaged her <gasps> was just letting her know that like you called and then pretty much just like the final goodbye type thing. Why, why would you reach out to her again? It was just like the final goodbye. There's no- I just felt like- <laughs> There's no final goodbye. Like, what does that even mean? Um, 
I just, I felt like I needed to, but we don't talk anymore. Um, never, we haven't talked since the phone call, so. So even after I told you not to contact her again, you still did, why? Because it was like, I wanted closure. I think she was just trying to stay on their good side because she probably knew that they could expose a lot. And then not only that, but like, she contacted me, I would say, I don't know, less than a week ago, like upset about some TikTok I posted and I never responded. So you mean to tell me you're- I didn't go look for that TikTok, so I don't know which one it would be, but people say that Amberlynn's TikTok page looks like a thirst trap, so <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to tell which one it was. There's probably a few. You're not posting anything about her online. No one knows her name, but I don't think she's posting anything about me either. I'm just really Okay, all right, okay, finally I heard that because I was like, what was she saying? Okay, so, very interesting right there. She's like, you said you weren't gonna talk about her. And she's like, I didn't, I haven't said her name. And then Erica's in the background and says, what about the double life? Because Amber Lynn just said that she found out some things and it turns out that Valentine was kind of living a double life. And I know that she has her issues and problems and a whole other life. Um, she was literally living two separate lives. And I guess that set Erica off. She never said her name or anything at this point. Amberlynn didn't release the video saying that her name was Erica until after the whole Tommy situation. So like the end of July. Valentine's name is Erica and Erica had a wife. I, I just, I don't understand. Like, like no means no. Huh? No means no, like no means no. Yeah, that's correct. That is why I do not speak to her any longer. I just don't understand, like, you have an entire relationship with somebody you don't know that you know is married. Like, what do you think is going to come out of that? Like, that's the part I don't understand. To keep reaching out, like, I don't get it. I didn't keep reaching out. Um, I reached out the one time as a way of, like, a weird closure thing because she did become like a really good friend of mine as well as on top of everything else. I was losing that and that kind of like was rough. So the, what did you say to her for your closure, your closure that you needed? I'm really curious. Um, well, I haven't gotten like a full closure thing. I kind of just realized it's not going to happen. Amberlynn has said that Valentine lied to her. She had a double life. So there was probably a lot of questions that Amberlynn still had. We'll find out later that they arranged some kind of sit down where Amberlynn's like, okay, I'm gonna have a bunch of questions I'm gonna ask you and you're gonna answer them honestly. I don't think what she was telling Amberlynn was very truthful. I could see where Amberlynn still like had questions and wanted to know things. And we saw in one of her live streams where she was like, oh my God, I just figured this out. And it was like something to do with the timeline. She's like, if she said this, then how could this have happened? They were in an open relationship and Brittany actually lived with her partner. Well, when I found out the truth about everything, the truth, the half truth, whatever, Erica admitted to me, actually, Brittany was living with her parents. And I was like, why? Why was she living with her parents? Like, that's so weird and random. Like you're in a whole ass marriage. Like you just told me. Well, it turns out that Erica was caught on Facebook Messenger cheating, literally doing exactly what she was doing with me, but on Facebook Messenger with another woman. And Brittany said, I'm done. I'm gonna go live with my parents. When she first started talking to Amber Lynn, she was already in hot water for talking to somebody else. I don't think Erica found her person and she's still looking. And that's when, see, things are not adding up. <gasps> You guys are seeing live Amber Lynn, like literally f***ing confused actually now that I think about it. Was that a lie too? Because if they were sitting together when she first messaged me, that means she wasn't living at the parents' house. That doesn't make sense. 
y'all. Okay, so maybe they started this troll in Amberlynn and then she was already seeing someone else on Facebook Messenger. Then maybe after the troll started, that's when she moved out. That's how she got some alone time with Amberlynn. After a while, Brittany moved back in. Then Amberlynn wanted to see Brittany's bed because she wanted to know that Erica was not sleeping in the same bed as Brittany. And Erica was like, it's so weird that she wanted to see a house tour. And it's like, that's not weird at all. Like, that's your, your girlfriend. Wouldn't you want to show them their house? You're talking to each other on FaceTime or whatever all the time, video chats. And that would be something you'd do with one of your friends too. Just like, hey, check this out kind of thing. She was acting like it was so weird. Maybe she didn't move out at all. This just sounds so dysfunctional and I feel bad for everyone involved. I have a lot to think about. It, I mean, it's all just a bunch of lies when all I did was tell her the truth and I was genuine with her and she was never genuine with me cool or she was genuine she finally became genuine and then um I don't know what happened but it's whatever yeah she didn't want to show that she was still like in a relationship so there's probably like I said there was probably a lot of things that Amberlynn was just like what the hell just happened to me I could see where she would want closure on the situation um but like how long did it take you to realize that it's not gonna happen it took me a long time Actually, I'm being honest. Yeah. The part that's got me up is that A, you knew about me. B, you were looking me up on Instagram. That shit is fucking creepy. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> that's not that creepy considering the situation. <laughs> Amberlynn has creepy people creeping on her all the time. I know she puts herself out there. It's not the same as it just being like her girlfriend's wife, but like when it's your girlfriend's wife, I guess you could look into it, right? <laughs> right. I thought that you guys were married for financial reasons, so. Is that what she said? Yeah. That is what she originally said, yes. And that you guys weren't in love anymore and you guys. I mean, it's like, I don't really know. <laughs> so I kind of skimmed through the text. Yeah, I understand that. I would have done the same thing. All right, let's just talk about the text messages for a moment. Here's my theory on the whole thing. I think that Brittany took all of the screenshots she could before Erica deleted everything and that Erica is prone to deleting things because Erica says during a few things that like, I shouldn't have deleted that one. So it made it sound like she deleted all the videos, but she was making it sound like she didn't delete any videos and that she still has proof. But Amberlynn came in Jordy's stream and was saying our whole conversation's gone. Okay, so Amberlynn has entered the chat and she says Erica deleted our whole chat a year worth of conversation ask her why yeah apparently Erica deleted it but it also seems like Brittany might have taken snapshots of all of it just in case she needed it to expose Amberlynn this is the message that Brittany sent to apathetic facts saying I have all her and Erica's text messages and I am not the crazy ex-wife. Well, it kind of sounds like you are if you're willing to put that out there. And she uses it, I think, as something to keep Amberlynn quiet. So you can see Jordy sees the comment and is reading it. Does a really good job of trying to get the answer from Erica if Erica even deleted the messages. I don't think she's looking at the chat, so they're not seeing this, but I mean, they could be, but the, they didn't notice it in time to change up the answer a little bit. But Erica will deny that she deleted anything. Do you, I mean, do you still have text messages, receipts, things of the sort with Amber Lynn? I, I do. Um, did you, I, I mean, at any point, did you like erase messages? I mean, no. you, so, I mean, are you, are you interested in showing receipts if Amber Lynn in the future um, claims things? I mean, do you, do you kind of have this like, oh, I mean, you can say this, but here's the screenshot. Like, honestly, I did like think it's not good when they start off with honestly about that. And I did take it into consideration, but it's I'm not stooping to that level. Like she can stoop to that. So it sounds like she already deleted them, but she's not admitting to delete them because she has said, I did think of that. Meaning she did think about that before she deleted the messages, but then she said she's not gonna stoop to that level. So then decided to delete them. Level and embarrass herself, but I'm not stooping to that level. And that's not to respect her. 
but that's you know just to like respect this whole situation this this whole situation would have never happened had she not and then just like let's move on from anything about there being messages or them being deleted if Amber Lynn's here just like telling us straight up that they're deleted I don't think she'd lie about that I think she genuinely wants to know and that's why she came in here to ask that question said my name she said my name and she promised she, would. she, promised she wouldn't but the same thing. like do you know how demented it is to tell somebody that's married not to have sex with their spouse? Like, do you know how crazy that sounds? Like I said, I thought you guys were just married for financial reasons. You really need help. <laughs> like, you really need help. Yes, you can tell um, there's some parts that are cut out. And Amberlynn had said that it wasn't the full call, that there was more to the call, but this is what we got. Probably. So... I expect not to see. Okay, so it's like something about trash talking people on YouTube. Any more videos? Correct. No, no more, nothing. Not a word, not a peep. And I absolutely respect that. I thought you respected um, that the other day when I told you do not call, do not reach out. None of that. I, I did I did that one time and I want you to know like I had like there was an open line of communication. Okay, she said she's lying about something. She's lying about not me on YouTube. She's lying about me on YouTube and she's talking a little louder now, so I think Brittany's gonna go shh. Because I was respecting you and I was respecting Isn't myself and the people in my life. Double life. So that, uh, she said, hold on. that's why I literally did not reply to her message. Like, I don't know what she's telling you versus me. Erica is obviously a known cheater and liar. <laughs> you can hear Erica scoff right before <laughs> I threw this clip in. Destiny is a fucking cheater. Whether it be physically, emotionally, that's how we met. Was well, she was cheating on a girl. Destiny said how I messaged her ex from California. It was spooky. Yeah, I messaged her to apologize because I didn't fucking know she had a girlfriend. I so as you can see, this is a pattern for Amberly. <laughs> I think she likes to be in competition with other women and she wants to be the one that's loved more. That's what it seems like because she gets herself in these crazy situations or she's like, I didn't know they had a girlfriend. I didn't know they had a wife. Well, actually, Destiny was engaged, so I didn't know she had a fiance. I finally have my rose tinted glasses completely off. Like, she's crazy and she knows it and I'm sure you do too. I got roped into sh like, I just want the best of the both of you, and I hope that you guys find that with each other. Like, I don't really know what else to do or say anymore at this point. Like, I apologize. I was very sorry. I don't really know what else to do from this point forward. A known cheater and liar. There's another thing they didn't like. Amberlynn was kind of telling stories about their marriage and how things are kind of rough and they have basically an open, it sounds like an open relationship, but it's not open. The way Amberlynn describes it, yeah, they don't like that Amberlynn's talking about that. It seems like they downplay it a little bit, but they downplay a lot, I think. Did she tell you about that? Yeah. Yes, she did. All right. But yet I was supposed to be different. You know how you know how yeah, you know how it goes. So I mean I have answered your questions to the best of my ability. I would really like I feel like she played me what? Yeah, she played you. Hard, like a fiddle. Yeah. And it's crazy to me. That's what I said. Like she sacrificed she sacrificed the possible future with you. Why? Like, what's the point? Well, it was kind of a dig at Brittany rather than it was at Erica. Like, you obviously seem like you have your head on your shoulders. She don't say like, shit about you. Like, you know I've seen the shit you said about me too, right? Erica's in the background saying she's talked shit about you too. Like, she's egging this fight on too. She probably knows how Brittany is and is trying to get her to upset Amberlynn or something. What do you mean? Like, you know I know all that. Like what? Just know that I know everything you said. So that comment there that she just made too, I think that she does have the screenshots. Like what? Just know that I know everything you said. Like how could you know everything? Especially if Eric is like prone to deleting things. So, you know, like the jealousy side of me, obviously when I'm in a relationship, 
thinking that she's going to come live with me and that she's in love with me, yeah, of course. I probably did say some things because I was in a delusive state. 100,000% I can admit that. Did anybody else hear that exhale in the background? Oh my gosh. Erica did not like that. Erica did not like that Amberlynn just outed that she's like, yeah, that she was gonna come live with me. Amberlynn did say that Erica got angry quite a bit. Like she had me in a full trance and I'm absolutely over it. So if you knew that she was a cheater, why still talk to her? Because she said, I'm different. You're so different, Amberlynn. You're so different, baby. I love you. And I love the way you make me feel. You actually make me happy. And you're sexy. That's, that's what I believe. Take a step back and look at it from a different angle. Oh, I'm 100% like, aware. Well, I'm a you. victim. I'm 100% aware I'm a victim. <laughs> like, I know that. Yeah. Had you reached out mm -hmm. to me, had you reached out to me and be like, hey, your wife is hitting me up. You know, I probably could have saved you quite a bit of time there. <laughs> yeah, you probably could have. I just, you know, I thought it was for financial stuff and we were just friends for the longest. I don't know if like she was just faking it the whole time because she needed someone. I don't really know. I don't understand. <laughs> this is going to be another YouTube video for her. Thank you. I don't either because uh, I'm pretty successful. I'm pretty smart. I'm not bad looking. Oh. Like, I mean, that's one. That's one thing that um, Erica definitely did say about you. You're very smart, all that good stuff. So I believe it. Okay. So, it makes you wonder why she go looking somewhere else, don't it? I mean, yeah. It just. I mean, honestly, some people just can't stay with one person. I don't know why. Like I am beyond disgustingly loyal. Like I stopped talking to several of my friends for her because she didn't even want me talking to them. But yet she was, she had a full- Apparently Valentine said that's a lie. I think later on she said something about like, well, yeah, I mean, there was people that were saying mean things to her. And I said, why would you want those people in your life? Oh, she was, she was rude to Amberlynn. Yeah, I mean, she did say mean stuff to her, and I guess that's where it came in that I told her to stop talking to her friends, which I didn't. I was just like, it makes no sense that you talk to these people and they talk to you like this. Wife, like, it, that you had an actual marriage with, like, that's... I just don't understand, like, you talk about double lives and shit, but you, you knew about it the whole time. Wouldn't that be you living a double life as well? Well, I didn't find out um until a long time after her and i were talking that you would act that you would actually consider it cheating because for a long time she told me that you had your whole you had a whole different relationship you were in and that you were living there like erica said a lot of lies <laughs> like she can go and delete the messages because i'm not a screenshot taker but it's all there i haven't deleted a single thing on my end and then it was a couple it was literally just a couple months ago where we, we had this whole like talk where I was like, I'm gonna get to ask you whatever question because I felt in my gut something was wrong. And something was off, something just seemed weird, like she was lying to me. So I said, we're gonna have a discussion where you're gonna answer every single question that I have and you're gonna answer it honestly. Ooh, why Otta? Okay, so that's the end of the phone call. 